a tribe from a distant corner of the Milky Way found themselves stranded on Earth when their spacecraft crashed. They faced relentless pursuit and extermination by humans and were trapped on an unfamiliar planet. Desperately trying to return home, but where their lives were nearing an end, they chronicled their story for future generations. They wanted to tell us who they were and how they came here. Greetings to our viewers at Ancient Wonders. Dear friends, the tale I just told is not from a work of science fiction, but about a mysterious discovery in a Himalayan cave made in 1938. It has revealed a great mystery about a people trapped on Earth 12,000 years ago. These were extraterrestrial beings from a distant point in the Milky Way. They left messages for future generations, but these alien artifacts have been hidden from public view. This discovery was made in 1938 near the China-Tibet border in a vast cave system, unraveling many secrets for humanity. Join us at Ancient Wonders as we seek to understand and uncover these mysteries. But first, please like this video, as your support is crucial to our mission. Stranded on Earth? During an archaeological expedition led by the Chinese professor Chi Pu Ti, the research team discovered numerous caves in the Bayan Karaula mountain range. They found caves containing the skeletal remains of a short-statured people with large heads, over 700 peculiar stone disks, and a star map. The skeletons were of an unknown humanoid species. They were slender with long limbs, about 1.3 meters tall, with disproportionately large skulls, not resembling any known primate. A member of the team suggested they might be the remains of an unknown ape species. However, the professor disagreed, stating, has anyone ever heard of apes that could carve stones like this? Further archaeological work revealed hieroglyph-like carvings on the cave walls, depicting beings wearing round helmets, followed by drawings of the sun, moon, earth, and stars connected by pea-sized dots. Moreover, many other intriguing finds lay within the cave. A large round stone disc was found half buried in the ground, resembling a vinyl record. It was determined to be 10,000 to 12,000 years old. In total, 716 such stone discs were found. Each disc was 22.7 centimeters in diameter, 2 centimeters thick, and had a perfect round hole with a 2 centimeters diameter at the center. Additionally, there was a groove marking on them. Also found was a continuous length of cave wall with small, peculiar hieroglyphs that could only be seen under magnification. All of this raised significant questions. Who were these mysterious beings? What purpose did these enigmatic disks serve? Where would the star map found in the cave lead to? Deciphering Alien Script The object is a disk inscribed with alien writing, comprising numerous characters in a language never before seen. Despite over 25 years of research, many experts have tried to decipher it but to no avail. In 1962, the Chinese scientist Sun Mamnui finally managed to decode the message behind this mysterious artifact. The results were so astonishing that the prehistory department of the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing refused to publish or even acknowledge his findings. However, the determined scientist continued his research and was ultimately allowed to publish his work. The study was released under the title, Carved Characters About Spacecraft That Landed on Earth 12,000 Years Ago, as recorded on stone disks. The astonishing message on the Dapa stones was written by creatures calling themselves Dapa, they came from a distant planet, and their spacecraft crashed into the inaccessible Bayan Karaula Mountains. The Dapa from the spacecraft sought refuge inside mountain caves. According to the doctor, another translated section of the stone disk reads as follows, the Dapa in the spacecraft descended from the clouds. Witnessing this, the men, women, and children of the underground tribe hid in the caves more than ten times before sunrise. Throughout their ordeal, once they understood the sign language of the Dapa, they realized that these visitors had peaceful intentions. After some time of interaction, the tribe felt that they were friendly people from another planet and lived in peace with them. The Dapa stone disks also tell about the process of repairing the spacecraft, but unsuccessfully. Unable to manufacture a new one, the Dapa could not return to their home planet. They were trapped on Earth. Astonishing evidence. In this cave, the walls are square and smooth as though they were cut from the mountainside with an extremely strong heat source. In 1968, a Russian scientist published part of this story in the Sputnik magazine. The scientist conducted further studies and garnered very interesting results. 
Firstly, this stone disc contains a high cobalt content and other metals. It is a very hard type of stone, thus very difficult to inscribe, especially with such tiny characters. This discovery could be the first evidence of the existence of the Dapa species and their ancestors actually coming from the distant ancient cosmos. Secondly, when testing the disk with an oscillation meter, scientists detected an astonishing rhythm of oscillations, indicating that the Dapa stone disk was once electrically charged and acted as a conductor. Could there be any surviving Dapa? From the skeletons found, anthropologists are extremely puzzled as they do not know how to classify the Dapa race on Earth. They have slender bodies, yellow skin, and unusually large heads compared to the skeletons found in the Bayankaraula cave complex in 1938. Their bodies are hairy, they have large eyes, and the average height is 1.2 meters. Currently, in this remote and isolated mountainous area, there are two ethnic groups living. Coincidentally, they call themselves the Drakpa and Han tribes. But they are neither Chinese nor Tibetan. Legends still preserved in the area speak of an ancient yellow-skinned, small-statured race that descended to Earth from the clouds. They were hunted by humans for their ugly appearance. They have large heads, weak and unsightly bodies. Strangely enough, this description matches the skeletons also discovered by Professor Chi Puti in the caves. Rumors of the Alien Descendants In 1947, British scientist Robin Evans explored Tibet when he came to the Indi-Tibet border region, the local guides refused to go to the Bayankaraula area because they wanted to stay away from the strange people living there. After much effort, Robin Evans arrived. There, he found several hundred dwarfs. He stayed for half a year and learned their language, history, and legends. Lagala, their religious leader, told Robin Evans that their origin was from a planet in the constellation of Sirius. About 20,000 years ago, there was one time in 1014 that they were assigned to come to Earth. But in the year 1014, they crashed into this mountain range, many of them died, and the survivors could not leave Earth. Robin Evans' story was considered science fiction and published in the book Sun Gods in Exile in 1978. In addition, in 1995, an impressive news story came from China. In Sichuan province, on the eastern border of the Bayankaraula mountain range, 120 people from a previously unclassified tribe were discovered. The outstanding feature of this new tribe is their height not exceeding 1.16 m. The shortest adult was only 63.5 cm tall. The Chinese government has no official documentation on the tribe named Dapa. Many believe that the story about the Dapa race appearing on land is just a fantasy. Meanwhile, the world only knows them through blurred images taken from many decades ago. Perhaps the story of the Dapa is one of the biggest alien mysteries to date. Despite numerous studies conducted and countless hypotheses proposed, to this day, the Dapa stone disks remain one of the greatest curiosities for archaeologists and the most fascinating unsolved mystery. Do you believe that extraterrestrials have once visited our Earth, and some of them got stranded or chose to live an enigmatic life here? What are your thoughts on today's topic? Please leave a comment below to let Ancient Wonders and everyone else know. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notifications when the latest videos are released. Thank you for your interest and for following along. And now, goodbye and see you in the next videos.